Hey, my name is Matt Morris. I'm an ITX Advisory Solution Consultant with ServiceNow, and this is a session about cloud discovery for Azure. First thing we need to do is jump into the Azure portal, and we're going to need to create a new app registration under Active Directory. So I'm going to go to App Registrations, click New, give it a name that's meaningful to me. Go ahead and register that. Now that that's created, I'm going to jump down to Certificates and Secrets, create a new client secret. I'm going to let it not expire. Disco credential, Disco secret. We'll add that. I'm going to go ahead and copy the secret value. Now we need to go into my subscription here. And I need to go to I am and add a new role assignment for that integration. I'm going to assign it the reader role. Now that we have that role assigned, we can go ahead over to ServiceNow and we can create a service principle. We'll do by going to credentials, we'll hit new. We need to do an Azure service principle. It's listed here. And our client secret I still have on my clipboard. So we'll call this something that's meaningful to me. My tenant ID, I'm going to be able to find going back to my app registration. In Azure. So my tenant ID is here. I'll drop this into that record. And my client ID, same thing coming from Azure from the app registration. So now that we have that done, we can save this. All right, now we need to go over and we need to create a service account. Go to service accounts, create a new one. Now my account ID, this is gonna be under my subscription. Here's my subscription ID. Drop that into my service account. Data center type is going to be Azure. So we'll save this and we will try to do a data center discovery. Looks like we got an error here because we didn't add our discovery credentials. We need to drop in those credentials that we had just created. So we'll save this. We'll try again to discover the data centers. Okay, so now we have our Discover data centers coming in. Our next step is that we can go and set up a cloud discovery schedule. So we'll go to our Discover discovery schedules, click cloud discovery, start a new cloud discovery. And I'm just going to do this by the cloud API. I'm not going to do a separate IP-based discovery right now. So our provider is going to be Azure. Schedule name will be Azure Discovery. Select our account. All right, looks like everything's mapping in here. Let's go ahead and test.
Okay, successfully validated. So we're going to let it select all of our data centers. Keep moving. No need to discover VMs by IP address right now. Go ahead and create a schedule to do it every day at midnight. Let it finish and run. Once this finishes running, I'm going to show you the results and we'll jump over to the home page. So now that that's wrapping up, we can head back to our home for discovery. We'll refresh this. We'll look into cloud resources under Azure. Take a look at what's been pulled in. Okay, so we've got a number of things here. Looks like we have a number of virtual machines. Let's go take a look at our virtual machines. Be created by discovery. Okay, here's one of mine that I recognize from my Azure account. We can see where this was discovered just through cloud discovery, brought in several details, also brought in a number of relationships. You can see those, a lot of cloud infrastructure relationships. We have also some tag values that are being pulled in. We're getting ready to use those in a minute. So before we leave, before we wrap up the piece about cloud discovery, I'll show you a quick dependency view on this CI. Show you how the data center structure is being captured, or the uh, you know data center like structure and uh, storage mapping. All right, again, this has been Matt Morris. Thank you for joining.